No, basically, faculty play a major role in um, in identifying the students who are various, who are aspirants of in a particular domain or in a particular core area of electronics, and um, they can also educate them with the scope of the core area for a scope. Uh, which is prevailing in that particular industry and what are the necessary skill set required uh, to be achieved to be uh, possessed by the uh, the VLS aspirants in particular to the VLS industry or semiconductor industry so um, in that way faculty play a major role so they can show them the direction and um, also it is not easy for the faculty to do that unless the faculty himself or herself is um, updated with the, what's going on in the particular industry, core industry, maybe VLSA industry or semiconductor industry, the industry trends because electronics is a fast changing area. So the tool sets, the designs, the technology keep changing very frequently and uh, it, it becomes necessary for the faculty members also to track these trends and um, understand what is going on in the industry. So they have to keep themselves updated so that they can really guide the students in the right way. Yeah, basically these kind of applied uh, programs uh, which can build the necessary skill set um, if the students get exposed to these programs if they do it uh, in parallel to the whatever engineering curriculum they go about go through in the colleges so there it is very useful for them to know the industry ahead of time in advance and they can plan their career well in advance and uh, acquire right skill set which will really uh, be good and uh, it um, really helps them to be productive as early as possible once they come out of the uh, colleges and get into these companies. Programs like IEEE blended programs can play a very big role uh, in uh, giving or imparting a skill set, right skill set required by the VLSA aspirants of the students and uh, they can acquire side by side uh, their uh, engineering uh, curriculum uh, which definitely would give them all the fundamentals and this can add on to the that as a practical uh, case studies and uh, definitely they can become very productive at early stage in their career and uh, also these um, I talked about the startup cycles and definitely these startup um, the training period which I talked about which happens in any startup can get reduced drastically and hence today if you see many colleges or many academic institutions role in the extended campus programs wherein a lot of these kind of a skill building programs are uh, rolled in and students get exposed to this and they get the chance to acquire these skills in addition to the fundamentals, uh, the basic graduation course they do in the colleges.